Long distance communication in India was an arduous process before independence. One had to either write a letter or send telegram in case of urgency to communicate with each other. One company changed all this when it became the first to produce telephones for the country. That company is ITI Limited, earlier known as Indian Telephone Industries Limited. ITI was started as a telecom industry pioneer to bring about a change in the lives of people of the country by putting the world at their fingertips. Seven decades on, it has not only done this with dedication, but with bright vision, it has created a bold footprint in the industry and on the growth of an entire nation. Today, India's telecommunication network is the second largest in the world and ITI has contributed to more than 50% of the landline network as the largest manufacturer of telecom products and total solution provider in telecom and IT space in the country. ITI has six major manufacturing plants spread across India from Jammu and Kashmir to Kerala. In addition to Bengaluru, these plants are located in Palakkar, Srinagar, Naini, Raibareli and Mankapur. ITI also has non-production units like Network System Units, NSU, with core strength in turnkey project execution and annual maintenance works, and marketing division with eight regional offices and area offices spread across the country. With the incredible growth of technology usage in the recent years, ITI moved from fixed lines to wireless technologies. The company has supplied state-of-the-art equipment like GSM, New Generation Switching Network, DWDM, IPMPLS, MLLN, SSTP to the state-run service providers. ITI as a company looks for ways to make technology more accessible and user-friendly. This is one of the prime reasons that today the company manufactures mini PC. ITI is also engaged in the manufacturing of smart cards and has supplied a significant amount of SIM cards and national identity cards. In addition to switching and signaling equipment, ITI has also manufactures printed circuit boards or PCBs and that caters to the captive as well as external market requirements. ITI has established component screening facilities to test precision components required by Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. ITI has also contributed to India taking a giant leap as a global space power by manufacturing electronic assembly for one of the prestigious missions of ISRO, GSLV Mark III. From high-density pipes to fibre-optic cables to optical network, the company boasts of producing products catering to the booming telecom industry. GPON, OFC, HDPE are being manufactured and supplied to BharatNet project as well. This indigenous project of Government of India has been set up for establishment, management and operation of National Optical Fibre Network to provide broadband connectivity to all gram panchayats in the country, covering nearly 625,000 villages. The company has built up infrastructure to further its diversification efforts like manufacturing energy-efficient LED lighting products, among other things. Earlier switching equipment, GSM, banking equipment like note counting machine, all came out of ITI. The company also manufactures optical network terminals or what is better known as a modem. 
to consolidate and strengthen the telecom business, ITI manufactures solar panels for powering wireless towers and other utilities. It has set up facility to manufacture 18 megawatt solar modules. Providing products that offers a secure communication network to defense forces is the company's key strength. The Army Static Switch Communications Network project is the country's prestigious Army Backbone Communication Telecom Network, implemented in phases along the borders. After successfully deploying the first three phases, ITI expects to accomplish the Phase 4 of ASCON as well. As a part of Digital India mission, ITI has launched initiatives like Tag ITI Wallet, a digital mobile wallet that can be used for cashless transactions and online payments. ITI also provides Aadhaar-based authentication services to various central and state government agencies. In the current changing scenario, company has diversified into new business areas like services, data centers, and IoT. These are innovative technologies of the future that are already changing the way we live and work. Under Swachh Bharat mission, ITI has started manufacturing and installing feedback devices at public toilets to regularly monitor and maintain the cleanliness of toilets. ITI has been reducing losses year by year and is expected to witness fast growth in the next few years. With the industry growing at a pace beyond imagination, some may say that this is just the beginning for ITI.